What's going on my good people? Mike Hidalgo here with a tech tip for you. Today we're going to be talking about the jack points on an MQB Audi S3. We have it set up on the lift. We're going to throw it up in the air. We're just going to point out all the spots that you can jack up this vehicle, especially if you're working from home or it's your first time putting it on the lift. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, my good people, we are under the car, as you can see. Uh, the jack points we're about to cover are going to be identical on your S3 and A3 platforms. So let me show you with this flashlight where you're going to jack it up from. Starting up front, you have two points that you're going to work off of. You have the ones that our arm lifts are currently on. This is a thicker part of the pinch well that's reinforced to take on the car's body weight without folding over. If you were to jack it up from anywhere back here, you would possibly risk damaging the pinch weld as it is not reinforced for jacking. Uh, inside, on both sides of the front, you're going to have another, this looks like a plastic nut. Underneath it is part of the unibody that's going to also be a jack point. So if you're working on the ground, you would jack up the car from here, and then you would set your jack stands where our jack arms are right now. Same thing on this other side. Floor jack would go right here jack stand would go on the reinforced pinch weld. On the rear of the car, you're gonna find something similar. You have two points on the interior. This is gonna be where your floor jack's gonna go. And then here's a better view of that reinforced pinch weld. You can see it's layered, unlike these that are just a single layer. So these are designed, again, to withstand the weight of the vehicle. Jack stand, floor jack. Same thing on this other side. Interior for your floor jack, exterior for your jack stand. Overall, pretty straightforward. There's not too many other spots that are designed for that. You could argue that you could lift it up from the rear and front subframe. However, we'll leave that up to your discretion. And there's your tech tip of the day, my good people. Again, as always, thank you for watching. If you have any questions on what we did down here, please let us know in the comment box below. If you like this video and you want to see more like them, give it a thumbs up. And goodbye. <laughs>